Uh, what removal of transport insurance is, is that we've designed a policy uh, to protect the removal uh, companies and their customers uh, against loss or damage to the goods whilst in transit. Um, and there's two forms of the cover. There's one that covers the customers and one that covers the removal company. The, the cover for the customers, which is the most important one, is that when goods are picked up by the removal company, there's many things outside their control that can cause loss or damage during transit. Uh, and the perception is that many customers think that if it's picked up by the removal company, they'd be automatically covered for loss or damage to their goods during transit. Because of the many variables involved with the transportation of goods from at one location to another location, there could be three or four different modes of transport. Um, we would strongly recommend customers take out insurance to protect their goods for loss or damage during that period. If the removal company is negligent, they have commercial insurances to cover their uh, liabilities, or all our customers do. Um, however, as I said earlier, that there's many, many circumstances where the removal company would be considered not negligent and therefore there would be no protection against the customers. The reason why they should take out insurance is because it's their belongings and they have ownership of those goods. They are the ones that know the value of those goods to them and if they had a loss, um, they should be protected under their own terms and conditions for their arrangements. With a removal company, they have commercial insurance to protect their legal liabilities, but what they do is they have to comply with the insurance policy terms and conditions, and that is not automatically covered. We only cover the legal liability when they have been negligent. If you want to get your claim paid without referring to who causes the damage, we provide all risk type losses, or we can have fire collision overturning type cover, which is what we consider catastrophe risks. Um, most of our customers will take an all risk cover because that gives them the broadest possible cover that they can insure. As an example of that, currently there was just a rail derailment uh, from Perth to Melbourne. Uh, those customers that had insurance through the removal company were automatically covered and protected by the policy. For those customers that didn't have insurance, there was no cover provided because in those circumstances the removal company could not be considered negligent. So it's quite horrific when something does go wrong like that because uh, people have built up all their uh, household goods and personal effects over a period of time and when you have a catastrophe situation like that um, not many people generally in a position where they can replace all those goods. If the removal company was moving goods from one residence to another residence there are two variables uh, as I explained before that if there was if a third party caused the damage we would say the removal company is not negligent therefore they would have to claim against the party that caused the damage. Whereas if the person took out insurance to protect their goods, irrespective of who caused the damage, the goods would be covered and there would be no argument in the event of a claim. If goods are packed by the removal company, if you take the full cover or all risk type cover, any breakages or loss or damages within the carton would be covered. However, if you owner pack cartons, uh, because we don't know the standard of packing, we would only cover loss of that carton. I think first and foremost, uh, because we are brokers to the Australian Furniture Removalist Association, we would certainly recommend that they take a member of the Australian Furniture Removalist Association because uh, they have codes of conduct, they have proper conditions of carriage, they acknowledge under their terms and conditions that they're subject to the Australian Competition Consumer Act. Uh, there's various tribunals that they can go to in the event of a problem. Um, without being a member of that association, it's basically a cottage industry. Um, they, and they could be a one truck operator, I'm not saying they could be bad. However, that if they're a member of the association, they have certain compliance issues that they must be uh, compliant with, uh, and that gives the protection to the consumer. Uh, we believe everyone has a responsibility to themselves. Um, I think too often today things go wrong, people try to blame other people. We would strongly, strongly recommend that people would always take out insurance um, on the basis of that if you have a claim, it, we would rather be in the consumer's or the client's um, 
responsibility. Uh, they determine the cover, they determine the conditions. With the insurance company, the negotiation between the client and the insurer, and we would assist ourselves in the, in the event of a claim. Whereas if you leave it to another party, um, you have no control over that claim. Mm -hmm.